line. And they will be guided. First of all, the line. And then second and ninth line. They go together. Christian churches have held forever that all unborn life is sacred. There was a dispute perhaps at times exactly when might that life, life begin. But there was never any doubt that it was human life. It wasn't the life of a puppy or a squirrel or a plant. It was human life. So we pray and hopefully many more people will come out here pray and go to their churches and pray. We Catholics will go to Mass in these days to pray that our justices will be guided by, first and foremost, the truth, which is based on wisdom, and be guided by the principle of life, and be guided by the great principle of justice. Some 49 years ago, when the justices made that decision, they did put a clause in there that is very often forgotten. The majority at that time claimed that we didn't know when human life began. We did, from the sources I already mentioned, but they said if one day it could be determined differently, then this decision should be looked at and yes, overturned. Well, what we believe then has been confirmed by medical science over and over again. There is no mistake. The unborn life, according to all scientific research, is human life from the very first cell of conception. Let's hope our Supreme Court to remember that clause in their decision and help them then to base their decisions on the real truth that's always been there. The truth of God's wisdom. The truth that flows from the natural law and takes precedence over any mere human law made by human beings and to pray that everything they do will be to support that new life. The Mississippi law, the heartbeat law here in Texas, and we need to remember, which a lot of pro-abortion people don't want to mention, is in that decision of our Texas legislature and our governor, it states there that the state, not churches, but churches should, that the state will provide all the medical and financial assistance that pregnant women will need. We need to mention that because sometimes it said we don't care about that dimension. That's a falsehood. And we pray in all of this that our court, as it looks at the truth, will focus their ultimate decisions on life, human life, and recognizing that all human life comes from the great source of all life of all the creation, from God the Creator, and that God is our Father, the Father of all life. So in that context then, I offer this prayer for our justices, that they will keep in mind the principles I just mentioned. So loving God our Father, 
creator of us, of all we have here in the world, which flows from your loving hand of creation and goodness. We ask in these days, as these human justices come together, that inspired by the Holy Spirit, they will focus on true justice, whose first, which first principle is to respect the source of all human life, and especially of our weakest little brothers and sisters, those, as was mentioned, are not coming into the world, but are already here in the precious sacred presence of the wombs of their mothers. Guide our court in these days to always follow new direction inspired by the Holy Spirit. And help us, help us to pray in these days for these intentions and that many, many more Catholics and Christians and all people will come out in front of these time parenthoods which are death centers. This one here and others close by and throughout our country and the world. Heavenly Father, open their hearts and minds in the name of Christ to receive the Holy Spirit and to listen to your divine wisdom and to make laws that are in conformity with your eternal divine law and the eternal true laws of nature. And we pray for all of this as we have our rosaries this afternoon. Through the intercession of Jesus, your Son, who gave his life for us, dying on the cross, to bring forgiveness to women and parents who have destroyed unborn, to bring them back to your mercy and love, and to help all women who struggle with abortion to realize that we have, with our new heartbeat law, we have the social, emotional, the moral, and financial means to help them. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, who gave his life, dying for us on the cross, and with the intercession of Mary, the mother who carried in her womb the most precious and most sacred life of all, that we're about to celebrate again in his birth, the first birth that we celebrate in every Christmas. And so in the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We upon all of you, and thank you for speaking out in the name of God, in the name of the unborn, and God bless you, and pray with peace and good health, as we go through these days of that. And this sign that I was calling, I tried to sum up what this critical issue is all about. It says, abortion kills a precious child of God. A child of God, a tiny person, a human person. And flowing from that, based on scripture, based on the teaching of our church and many other churches, that we should always choose life. Some say we don't care about the mother. We say choose life for both mother and child. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bishop Pfeiffer. And now, Kathy will lead us in one of the greatest songs we ever have in America. Oh, beautiful four spacious skies, four amorites of grain, four purple mountains, majesties, America, America, God's will is light. 
eyes on thee, and crown my good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Thank you very much, Kathy. Thank you, Bishop Pfeiffer. Thank you all for coming. This particular group of people was sponsored by the same people who sponsor the National Day of Remembrance for Aborted Children, the pro Life Action League in Chicago, Korean Priest for Life. There's the West Coast, Mary Miller's for Human Life. Here in town, it's San Antonio Family Association and the St. Anthony Family Association and also the San Antonio Coalition for Life. Thank you and God bless you. Good job, Bill. Good job, Bill. Hey, Brian, good to see you. Yes, sir. That's fun. Okay, that's fine. You're welcome. We'll use some. We'll use a few. Be back, darling. You know? No, I got it. Michael, how are you?
we grab a second? I don't know if those are perfect bodies. Remember, Parks Coffee, contact Parks Coffee, if you will, and let them know to stop doing business with Planned Parenthood. Well, the police officer has to take in lunch? What's the deal here? Good afternoon. My name is Mike Knuckin with the San Antonio Family Association. Glad you're here today on this pivotal day of arguments at the Supreme Court. That's the bad case that's taking place right now at the Supreme Court, and we need prayers. We don't rely on man and we don't rely on courts. We rely on our Lord Jesus Christ. And that justice will be heard. <laughs> now, the There's a lot of noise out of today. There's a lot, a lot of, 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 of hums. So we're glad you're here. And um, pray for our effectiveness. And pray, pray to the Lord that he moves the minds of the justices to do what is right and just in today's world. And to eradicate abortion in the United States. It's very sad because well, some of the arguments were very superficial arguments on, on silly things and they were not talking about the natural things of life. So if you caught any part of the uh, testimony I, as I did this morning, it's very disappointing. So we have to pray to our Lord that he moves the justices' minds and renders a decision according to his natural law and according to his justice. So we're out here, and I don't know, there's 20, 30 people out here, and uh, we're going in shifts. So we're getting ready to start our, um, our rosary, uh, reciting the Gospels. And so uh, Bishop. we're going to begin here momentarily. Uh, Bishop Pfeiffer just wrapped up his uh, incredible comments. And uh, if you can join us, get down here at 2140 Babcock. And if you can't, then maybe drop your knees wherever you are and uh, follow with us the uh, rosary or say some prayers or at a oratory. So maybe in front of the, uh, the Holy Eucharist would be very helpful. It does not look as though this is an abortion day generally, but then again, there's... Uh, the escort, the peak escort, so apparently it's abortion consultation day. And so and so what they're trying to do is they want to make certain that rosaries are the weapon of choice out here and they don't get hit, hit by rosaries, I guess. Let Eli announce the, the women's march. Uh, e Eli Dancy is going to make an announcement here. Eli? Mike and Patrick Dinks, San Antonio Family Association, co-sponsors of the Men's March of San Antonio. Next Wednesday, December 8th, from 11.30 to 12 noon, we're going to meet at 11.30 at 920 San Pedro. 920 San Pedro is Planned Parenthood uh, facility down, down, downtown. 
We're gonna mar- we're gonna pray uh, downtown. We're gonna march and pray uh, for one hour from 12 noon to one o'clock. We're gonna march from 920 San Pedro Plain Pyramid down to Main Plaza and back. That's a round trip of an hour. 30 minutes each way. It's going to be fantastic. I have about at least 50 men that are going to show up, and my goal is 100 or more. We did this in D.C., Men's March with Jim Havens and Stephen Imbarato and uh, Bishop Strick, and we're going to do it here in San Antonio. It's the first one of many. Praise be to God. The Holy Spirit is working through the city. The city of St. Anthony is going to be pro-life forever. Amen. 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 I just told him, get a keg. You get 100 people right there. Just like that. <laughs> Thank you, Eli. Thank you for all you do. So we're going to begin our rosary here momentarily. If you would play the play the uh, gospel with us, so it's the non-Catholics, you know what that is. We just pray the gospel, and today is going to be the sorrowful mis- uh, mysteries, and you can follow right along. You'll know exactly what it is. Thank you. Are we playing the glorious on Wednesday or playing the sorrowful? Can we play the glorious, okay? All right, so some a uh, small change. We're going to pray the glorious mysteries because it is Wednesday. And um, a day dedicated to St. Joseph. And today we pray the glorious mysteries as we trust in God in his resurrection, have faith in his resurrection, hope in his ascension, love in the descent of the Holy Spirit, grace of happy and holy death in the assumption, and in the coronation, trust in Mary's intercession. We begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Viva Jesus! Viva! Viva the Virgin de Guadalupe! Viva Cristo Rey! Viva! On behalf of the San Antonio Family Association, all pro-life apostolates, we pray the gospel, not pray the rosary. May you be blessed in your, prep, in your participation, and we pray for all abortion workers. For Raymond Avila, the general manager of Planned Parenthood, facilities manager. For Jeffrey Hans, Planned Parenthood from South Texas CEO and President. For this Hispanic security guard, for this Volunteer wearing a pink baby bib. It belongs on babies, not on women. And this Hispanic security guard, other security guard. May God have mercy on your souls and all the abortionists. And we just came we just discovered the abortionist name here. I'll come by in here in a second, we'll pray for him. We're gonna pray this uh, third day of the novena of the Blessed Mary and Dear Knots <clears throat> as we want to pray for those people who provoked this knot. Whether it be Planned Parenthood South Texas, its affiliates, other abortion providers, mercenaries, mercenaries assistants, ju- justices, Supreme Court justices are approved, Roe v. Wade, or anyone else. Day three, forgive those who have provoked this knot. We begin with an act of contrition. Oh my God, I love you. And because I love you, Mary, sorry for my sins. They have separated me from being a fear the loss of heaven, the pains of hell. But most importantly, because you're all good and all deserve my complete love and good choices. And so, Lord, I ask for your forgiveness, your blessing, your grace, that I may confess these sins, to do my penance, and I'm in my life to sin no more. Amen. Amen. We pray for a just desire for all justices, all the Supreme Court justices, and all those new parents in crisis, to do what's right and good, based on principle, based on natural law and eternal law. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and punched by was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. 
On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sits right in with God the Father the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. They pray there will be no blessed Mary and dear of knots, forgive those who have provoked us not. Turn to Mary, you who desire grace. Special are you Supreme Court Justices. Most merciful Mother, to whom Jesus entrusts everything, then to grant us the grace and do these knots in our lives. We place our whole heart in the maternal hand to employ you to undo these knots. 2140 Babcock, 74, 2 John Smith Drive, 920 St. Pedro. Raise them to the ground where nobody can be hurt today in the future. Oh, Mother of God, you see how many knots there are in our lives and the deep pain of separation it causes us. Help us this day to forgive all persons who knowingly or unknowingly have provoked, provoked this knot and grant us the grace to forgive ourselves for having provoked this knot. Only in this way can you undo it. We trust you, most merciful Mother, and we know that God will grant you all that you ask of him for our salvation according to his most merciful will. Most glorious virgin, advocate of sinners, your treasure, blind grace, we entrust these knots to your bodily love and supplicate they didn't do them completely. And obtain for us by the most precious blood of thy dear Son, Jesus. Pardon for our sins, the salvation of our souls, and answer means to obtain it. Amen. Amen. Blessed Mary and dear not. For it's just desire to come to know God's will, to make it our own, to live in our lives. Especially for new parents and the Supreme Court justices. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For increase in faith, hope, and love, our Lord Jesus Christ, for all new parents. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou in the and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For increase desire increase in faith, hope, and love, our Lord Jesus Christ, for all post aborted women. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For increase in faith, love, our Lord Jesus Christ, for all Supreme Court justices and abortion workers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. All of our thoughts, words, actions, and deeds, glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Paul, you're welcome to use that speaker. Just plug the microphone in. I'll help you in a second. Young man, can we help you? Can we help you with something? Young man, you know that 71% of the business done here kills Hispanics. You look like you might have some Hispanic in you. May God have mercy on you. Protect your race. Lord, end abortion. Lord God, we thank you today for the gift of our lives, for the lives of all our brothers and sisters. We know that there is nothing that destroys more life than abortion or artificial birth control chemicals. Yet we rejoice you have conquered death by the resurrection of your son. We are ready to do our part in any abortion. Today we commit ourselves never to be silent, never to be passive, never to be forgetful of the unborn. We commit ourselves to be active in the pro-life movement and never stop defending life until all our brothers and sisters are protected and our nation once again becomes a nation of liberty and justice, not just for some, but for all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. St. Michael Gabriel Raphael. Pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Pray for us. Our Lady of Conception. Pray for us. Our Lady of Lourdes. Pray for us. Our Lady of Loretto. Pray for us. Our Lady of Fatima. Pray for us. Our Lady of Ransom. Pray for us. Our Lady of Good Hope. Our Lady of Endure of Knots. Our Lady of the Rosary. Our Lady of Victory. St. Joseph. The first glorious mystery. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Do not be amazed. We see Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. We hold the place where they laid him. And the third mystery is faith. Lord, increase our faith. A total faith and hope is in you. Choose life and not death. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, and the Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fair and grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, fair and grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was, the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hey, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension. Then, after speaking to them, the Lord Jesus was taken up into heaven and took his seat at God's right hand. Our Father, Kingdom came, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. The fruit of the mystery is love of God. He loved us so much he sent the Holy Spirit to inspire us, guide us, and help us. Choose life and not death. Paul, go ahead. Give us 
us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. It's all about money. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins, save us in the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Closing prayer to Blessed Mary and Dear of Nuts. Lord, we believe, strengthen our weak faith, and increase our faith. Oh, most holy mother, you will never refuse to help those in you your divine grace. See these lots in our lives, and much pain and suffering cause us and those who we love. Oh, blessed Mary, our only hope by your power for intercession to for us, the grace can be in these lots. In your hands, there is no knot that cannot be undone. Loving mother, by your grace, ask your son Jesus to take these lots to 21 for the Babcock, 74 for John Swift Drive, 920 San Pedro. Raise them to the ground where nobody can be hurt today in the future, and leave them to the glory of God once for all. You are our only hope. Under your title, Blessed Mary, and you are not to take us by the most precious blood of thy dear Son, Jesus. Having for our sin, the salvation of our souls, and this our means to obtain it. Amen. Amen. Blessed Mary, and you are not. Pray for us. The first glorious mystery. The assumption. Today is an abortion consulting We're day. The glory of Jerusalem. Abortion consultation We're the day great here. Boast of our nation. And that young woman just went in. She drove up in a Range Rover. For Israel and God is pleased with them. It's supposed to be all about money. May the Almighty Lord bless you forever. Driving a Range Rover. Not so much about money. Grace of a happy and joyful death. Choose life and not death for your baby. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners and women of the Lord. Now at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was, the beginning is down, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, Give us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Our Father, who art in heaven, may be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth and in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor band of children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, morning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn that most gracious advocate in the eyes of mercy towards us. And after, after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, God by only begotten the Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee to meditate on these mysteries, the most holy rosary, blessed Virgin Mary. We may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, a most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, sought thy intercession, were left unaided. 
Inspired by this confidence, I fly into the O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before you do I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Word incarnate, despised not by petitions, but in thy mercy. Care and answer us, please. Amen. Our Immaculate Mother Mary, St. Bernard of Clairvaux, Pray for Mother Angelica, patron of Texas, Father Anthony Barhill. Pray for us. Viva Jesus! Viva! Viva Virgin de Guadalupe! Viva! Viva Cristo Rey! Viva! Prayer for the intercession. Remember St. Joseph for his intercession for all new dads and for all the Supreme Court justices. In this Wednesday, remember our late chase spouse and the Virgin Mary that never was a man who really encouraged you help us out to intercession and left unassisted. Full of confidence in power, we find you and beg your protection. Despite now the garden of humor, our humble supplication with your bounty and your interest, so interest, please, amen. Amen. Act of consecration of St. Joseph for ourselves, for our new dads, the desire to protect, lead, and provide their new unborn child and the woman they impregnated, and for all the Supreme Court justices. Our dear St. Joseph, we consecrate ourselves your own and give ourselves to you. That you may always be our Father, our protector, and our guide in the way of salvation. Obtain for us a greater purity of heart and perfect love in the interior life. After your example, may we do all our actions for the greater glory of God and you the divine heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. Amen. Amen. Bless the St. Joseph. Pray for us. And after the rosary, we encourage you to pray this at the encouragement of St. Leo the 13th. <laughs> to you, O blessed Joseph, we have recourse in our affliction and having implored the help of your most holy spouse. We now, with hearts filled with confidence, earnestly beg you to take us under your protection, especially new dads who desire to fulfill their new responsibilities and the Supreme Court justices, through that sacred bond of charity which united you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and by that fatherly love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased by his blood, and to aid us in our necessities with your power and strength, the being our most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, the chosen children of Jesus Christ, keep from us, O most loving Father, all blight of error and corruption, aid us from on high, most valiant defender, in his, con in his conflict with the powers of darkness. And just as you once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now the King God's holy church and all unborn children, from the snares of the enemy, and from all adversity, shield us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example, and strengthened by your help, we may be able to live a virtuous life, die a happy death, and attain everlasting bliss in heaven. Amen? Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. A prayer for militants for encouragement, for perseverance, for effectiveness, and cheerfulness. O Lord Jesus Christ, your apostle Antonio Marville left his homeland to bring the gospel of salvation to people in Mexico, Texas, and Louisiana. He endured every hardship and pain, beloved you. May you graciously deign to reward your servant Marville. <coughs> By hastening the day when we will be raised, the honor of blessed and saint. We ask the devil of Anthony Marville to intercede for us for you, God, our Father, may answer this request. The raising them down 2140 Babcock, 74th Johnson Drive, 926 St. Pedro, and the guidance for the strength the United States Supreme Court to make a, a truthful, righteous, principled decision to protect all human life. We ask this in Jesus Christ at Lori. Amen. Amen. My father Antonio Morrow, you did dedicate your life to expand the Catholic faith in these lands of Central North America. Look upon us now in this terrible crisis that ravages the church. Help us to preserve and protect the treasure of our faith and give us a strength similar to yours to combat the enemies of the Catholic name inside and outside the church. For the special intention of help the San Antonio Family Association, all faithful pro-life apostolates in the United States Supreme Court to faithfully protect, defend, and promote the family in the city of St. Anthony and throughout Barry County and the state of Texas and the United States of America. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ and for him. Amen. Amen. Our Father, and Lord, and Lord, and Lord. Thy kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now, man, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, and turn and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Viva Jesus! Viva! Viva Virgin de Guadalupe! Viva! Viva Cristo Rey! Viva! Venerable Father Anthony Mario, pray for us. Pope Gregor the Sixteenth, pray for us. Archbishop Patricia Flores, Bishop Tom Pop, Bishop Tom Flanagan, Bishop Pop, all you deceased the Archdiocese of San Antonio. 
prepare for our country in this most difficult time in the United States of America, this most divisive time. If we would only unite in life, we could unite in everything else. Most, almost blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, this most critical time we trust the United States of America, the state of Texas, the county of Bear, and the city of St. Anthony of your loving care. Most Holy Mother, we beg you to claim this land for the glory of your Son. Overwhelmed with the burden of the sins of our nation, we cry to you from the depths of our hearts and seek refuge in your motherly protection. Look down with mercy upon us and touch the hearts of our people. Open our minds to the great worth of human life for the responsibilities that accompany human freedom. Free us from the false as the lead of the evil of contraception and abortion and threaten the sanctity of family life. Grant our country the wisdom to proclaim, to proclaim the God's laws of foundation which this nation was founded, especially the United States Supreme Court. And that he alone is the true source of our cherished rights to life, living in pursuit of happiness. O oh, merciful mother, O oh, merciful mother, give us the courage to reject the culture of death and indifference, communism, socialism, wokeism, environmentalism, egalitarianism, globalism, and totalitarianism. And grant us the wisdom, strength, valiant courage, and fortitude to build a new culture of life, freedom, marriage, and family, through living the faith value and voting and properly formed conscience in the truth. Amen. Amen. Our most sacred heart of Jesus. Our most sacred heart of Jesus. Our most sacred heart of Jesus. Our Lady Guadalupe. Our Lady of Night Conception. Our Lady of Fatima. Our Lady of Voyage. Our Lady of the Rosary. Our Lady of Victory. St. Joseph. Christopher Columbus. Remember Father Anthony Marhill. Moses Austin. Stephen F. Austin. Sam Houston. All you founders of our nation, state, county, and city. All you deceased members of the United States Supreme Court, St. Thomas More, St. John Fisher, Bishop John Carroll, Charles Carroll, all you patrons of life, all you patrons of the San Antonio Family Association, Eternal Father, we offer thee the most precious of the Son, Son Jesus, and your mass is set throughout the world today. For all the holy, holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our own homes and our families, and these sidewalks and these human slaughterhouses. Amen. Amen. St. Gertrude. Amen. For the Holy Father, his special intention the Holy Catholic Church in needs for Pope Francis his intense desire to claim the truth of Holy Bibles in the church and the public sphere, simply can we correct the observer for confusion or doubt for his intense desire to rule out all corruption out of the church and appoint solid and faithful bishops and cardinals who desire to live in the truth, propose the truth, and persevere in the truth, especially proposing the truth now to all elected officials to the United States Supreme Court and for the repose of the soul of the priest in purgatory, most need of your mercy, Lord, and his intercession, the Pope's life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <laughs> for the needs of the Archdiocese of San Antonio, for Archbishop Gustavo and his intense desire to proclaim the truth of the Holy Bogus in the church and the public square, especially now, to guide all the flock to realize that we're on a momentous time where we can protect all human life, born and unborn, born and pre-born. His intense desire to, to ordain solid and faithful deacons and priests who desire to live in the truth, propose the truth, persevere in the truth. And for the repose of the soul of the deceased priest or religious from the archdiocese of San Antonio and in their intercession in his life. Our Father, who art in heaven, I'll be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, and the end. Amen. For the repose of the souls of all those in purgatory, especially our family and friends, the one we're all for indulgence for. Our, for all the deceased all the deceased family members of abortion workers and volunteers. For, just, for all the deceased family members of Supreme Court justices, that they intercede for them as part of the cloud of witnesses, encouraging them to do what's right and good now, to fulfill their responsibilities, and for their intercession in our lives, the lives of all, especially the parents, those in crisis situations, 
Supreme Court Justice to do what's right and good. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the Supreme Court, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael gave the Raphael. St. Pope Leo XIII. St. Pope Leo the Great. Pray for us. our Son of the Day. St. Edmund Campion. Pray for us. St. Anthony. Pray for us. Mother Angelica. Pray for us. Pope John Paul II. Pray for us. Uh, Pope John Paul I. Pray for us. All you saints and angels of heaven. Pray for us. All you poor souls in purgatory. Pray for us. All the deceased relatives and friends. Pray for us. And the one we're offering dozens for. Pray for us. Viva Jesus! Viva! Viva Virgin de Guadalupe! Viva! Viva Cristo Rey! Viva! On behalf of the San Antonio Family Association, we bring to you praying the gospel for righteousness and justice in a prudential and wise decision based on principle for the United States Supreme Court as the Dobbs case has been submitted to the Supreme Court in the United States of America for the protection of all human life, women and their babies, and born and unborn, born and preborn. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, there you have it. Thanks for uh sharing some time with us, praying with us for our effectiveness, but more importantly for the Supreme Court justices to render a just verdict, or just decision on the killing of 65 million, roughly 65 million babies since 1973. And so that we ask you to turn it for today. Some of us are fasting all day, some of us are doing other things. We encourage you to do whatever it is there's no decision today. Somebody asked me if they're going to come down with a decision. The answer is no. June. Yeah, it's going to be in June. Uh, so, but we have a lot of a lot of praying to do between now and June. But everything is is uh, hinged on today's hearing. And uh, Suppo supposedly they take a preliminary vote on Monday. Hold on. going to take a preliminary vote on Monday to see where the justices stand, and then there will be uh, discussions among the justices and their writings and sharing it with each other, and then the decision will be released in June. But we're not privy to the, uh, to the uh, vote on, on this intermediate vote, right? No. Yeah, we don't, we don't know that. The press doesn't know that, but we will. So anyway, thank you again. San Antonio Family Association wants some information. Go to San Antonio Family Association, FamilyAssociation.com or follow us daily at Facebook slash San Antonio Family Association. Some great articles on family, marriage, life, religious liberty, and uh, 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 civil liberty that we're losing right now with this uh, with these uh, power grab governments all around the world. So, anyway, so, talk about. Talk about the re the argument this morning about access to abortion for poor people, and look at this. Oh yeah, what we're talking about is uh, they're always talking about Planned Parenthood is here for the poor people. And uh, if you take, a look, take a look at the uh, you got a Tesla right here, you've got a Range Rover over there, you got a Cadillac over. I mean, this is not a money issue. They're not poor. These these are these are young people. They want to kill their baby. They'll do it at any cost. That's what this is. This is not about, oh, we've got to make sure they have health. It's not health. This is death. There's no health here. It's all death. And you can see there's plenty of money. So anyway, pray hard. And uh, if you want to follow us, SanAntonioFamilyAssociation.com. Thank you very much for your time. We'll be here on Friday.